last week, the Central Bank, in conjunction with the Bankers Committee, held a one-day special summit on the new path to economic recovery. The summit, which brought together bank CEOs and policymakers, had a theme, how to overcome the pitfalls of recession, bankers' perspectives on an enduring national growth path. The managing director and regional executive at EcoBank Nigeria, Mr. Patrick Akihoto, was at that event and joins us now. Good morning. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Akihoto, for joining us on the program. Good morning. Uh, thank you very much. Good morning. So you were present at the Bankers Committee Economic Retreat. The banking sector has been accused of not giving adequate funding and support to the economy in general, but more importantly, the SME um, uh, sector, what do you think the banks should be doing differently, first in approach and second impactfully in quantum during this period of anticipated V-shaped recovery for Nigeria? First, uh, thank you very much. First, let me start with facts. I think um, the banking industry um, has, more particularly in the last uh, three, four years, um, being galvanized to significantly support the real sector. Um, you will recall that the central bank last year increased or set a minimum loan deposit ratio for the banking industry, first at 60% and then later at 65%. What the central bank did essentially was set a minimum. So for every 100 Naira deposit, each bank was required to lend at least 65 Naira back to the economy in order to galvanize the economy and support real growth in the Nigerian economy. And the, the outcome of that, as you know, first, there were a lot of pushback. Analysts said, it is not usual to ask banks to have a minimum uh, loan deposit ratio. In other economies, uh, high loan deposit ratio is always cause of concern. But what the regulators saw was that 49% of our GDP is driven by SMEs. The agri sector contributes about, 20, used to contribute about 22% of our GDP. And the real sector, the manufacturing sector, all these critical sectors, the regulators and the banking industry, the bankers committee saw the need to really galvanize these sectors way ahead of uh, the challenges that now came through from COVID. If you look at numbers, in the month of June 2020 alone, uh, the growth in credit to the economy was about 3 trillion naira. Actually, by, uh, by the end of June, uh, loans to the economy was about 19 trillion. But by December, that had increased to about 25 trillion. In real terms, the banking industry has played a significant role in helping the economy power out of the recession caused by COVID as we saw in the growth of the agri sector, the real sector, the telecom sector, and we came out of recession in the last quarter, arising from the activities of the banking industry. Now for the SMEs, yes, yes please. So, so inflation has become a hydro-headed problem for uh, monetary policymakers in Nigeria. And this is not only because of its high level, but because it has a multiplicity of causative uh, factors uh, the problem it poses for the CBN is that one solution cannot solve uh, the various dimensions. For example, with the interest rates uh, kept at, a, at an artificial low level, the incentive to save is dampened, uh, while the CBN also wants to loan cheap for small-scale uh, uh, borrowers. What do you think should be done to contain inflation and simultaneously stimulate growth uh, through low-cost uh, loans to small businesses? Thank you. I mean, it's a question of priority and sequence. Uh, for our economy, we've always stated that we need to have growth in our GDP higher than the growth of our population. That has been a major issue in terms of improving the wealth uh, position of every Nigerian. 
And in that respect, what the central bank has done, driving uh, interest rates into single digit territory, leading first by taking the lead in the CBN intervention funds, which interest rate was brought down from 9% to 5% uh, last year. The whole idea is to stimulate the economy so that we have real growth. Uh, and that is beginning to happen. What we need to do is to be consistent, follow through on that growth. Uh, for the last quarter of 2020, whilst a lot of economies were still talking of recession, we effectively moved into the V curve that is beginning to grow the economy. Now we understand inflation uh, is, is, is an outcome of a number of things. The biggest impact being the changes in the exchange rate of the Naira that gets to go into the cost of goods and services because we are largely an import dependent nation. So we need to reinforce our ability to achieve self-sufficiency. I was just watching uh, the clip in respect of the Dangote refinery and the, uh, the production of urea. Once we, things like that, go towards achieving self-sufficiency and then we power up export, agricultural export, non-oil export, particularly since we have the Africa continental free trade area that has come into effect, Nigeria uh, should now focus massively on export of items like sesame seed, uh, cashew nut, shea butter, uh, and the various non-oil exports that we have. That will create jobs. That will end foreign exchange, deepen diaspora remittances, which the central bank and the bankers committee has been pioneering, attracting diaspora remittances into Nigeria. Having that stability, more export, more foreign uh, currency coming, stability of our exchange rates, that would team inflation. But we need to focus on the fundamentals going forward. Now, the, the Naira has been allowed to slide by over 4% at the IRE window, where it is now trading at about 410 Naira per dollar. Now, the CBN has also increased its turnover and participation in the Forex markets recently. We have interestingly seen a little convergence between the rates and the market. What can be done differently in the exchange rate management strategy? Or do you believe that um, we should just do more of the same for now since the price of oil is now above uh, $65 per barrel? Thank you. I think we need to change the narration from trying to manage exchange rates to actually becoming a resilient economy. Uh, trying to manage exchange rates is, is, is not, in the long term, a sustainable strategy. What is a sustainable strategy is to produce more than we consume, is to export more than we import. That is the trajectory that we must be, keep our eyes on. That is the opportunity that major banks are focusing on. That's what we are focusing on at EcoBank. That is what the central bank is promoting, that we need to power up our economy. We're strong in textiles. Let's be self-sufficient in textiles and begin to export it. Let's be self-sufficient in food, in the agri business, and begin to export. Let's be self-sufficient in energy, as was just uh, mentioned. Reduce importation maximize export, just like China did, just like great economies did, and the exchange rate will manage itself, improve access to diaspora remittances, which all of us in the banking industry are making it easy uh, at very low cost for recipients in Nigeria to receive the diaspora remittances in foreign exchange so that there are no there's no speculation on the exchange rate of the Naira. All right, Mr. Akito. In the light of uh, this uh, summit, especially with the focus on growth simulation, uh, what monetary policy measure do you foresee as the MPC uh, prepares to meet uh, later this month? I think the MPC has done quite well, and we see the outcome in the last one year. It's important to have a degree of predictability and stability. Uh, I would expect that uh, the current 
four pillars, which is to support the growth of the economy that will be maintained because it's not a 360 day cycle. It's, it's a medium term strategy and the various steps that brought the NPR to 11.5 and the various indices in the economy indicate to me that uh, I'll be expecting to see a bit more stability going forward uh, uh, such that the outcome and the output from the economy will tame inflation, will tame exchange rate, and will have real sustainable growth in our economy. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Akinoto, for uh, being part of our show this morning. Thank you very much. And do come again when next we ask. Thank you. It's always a pleasure you very having much. you on the Thank program. You. Right.